Um, Raptors, no, they don't just win. They clobber, they destroy, they annihilate. They beat the snot out of the Cleveland Cavaliers 133-99. A 34-point victory for the Toronto Raptors without Kyle Lowry and without Serge Ibaka. And with DeMar DeRozan only getting 13 points. Let's break this puppy down. You know, we were matching them basket for basket pretty much in the first quarter, but we had a good start to the game, you know, and we were up six after the first quarter. Great time, but you got to be, you got to continue to play well. The Raptors in that second quarter won that quarter, if my math is correct, by 19 points. And they're up by, I mean, what? 20, was it 25, 20, my math is way off, 25 points at the half, if my math is all correct, that's nuts, however, the Cleveland Cavaliers are a team you cannot sit back against, because they have LeBron James, you sit back for even a few minutes, they'll rack up 10, and bang, it's only a 15 point game, and it's right there again, the Raptors, yes, Cleveland did go on an 8-0 run. But the Raptors, I think, had a 31-point lead before they went on that 8-0 run. And they were down to 23, and we're like, okay, all right. But then the Raptors fought back and went on a 6-0 run or so of their own. The Raptors really didn't let Cleveland get close. The closest they got after the big run in the second quarter was like 23 points. I don't, I'm speechless. I mean, <laughs> for the first time in a long time, I don't know what I'm saying. OG Ananobi was struggling from three. They keep giving him the ball. Then he knocks a three down. Everybody's fired up for him. You can see the sigh of relief on his face. CJ Miles, the big start to the game. OG, did, uh, he, didn't, he only played 19 minutes and mainly was in the first half. But CJ Miles had 16 points. Five rebounds, a couple assists, six of 12 shooting, four of seven from three. He was fantastic, and the looks he was getting were great. They were unbelievable. The big man in the middle, Jonas Valanciunas, 19 minutes, 15 points, 18 rebounds for Jonas. He was massive. Six of nine shooting, three of four from the free throw line. JV was massive. Uh, DeLon Wright only played 18 minutes, but he had 6 points, 4 assists, and a couple blocks as well, probably on Isaiah Thomas both times. 3 of 9 shooting, all of 3 from 3. You're looking offensively, he's one of the only guys who struggled. Why do I say that? DeMar DeRozan only had 13, and yes, he only shot 5 of 13, and, uh, but he did shoot 3 of, fi 3 of 5 from 3. He was still electric because the Cleveland Cavaliers, okay, there's no Kyle, there's no Serge, when JV's not on the floor, and... When Demar is, they're just going to double them the entire time. So all the all our guys have to do is knock down their open shots. And you saw CJ CJ was open uh, was knocking down his shots. JV and the big one, the big one. Well, I mean, there's there's like three or four big ones in this one, but emotionally, Norman Powell. I'm seeing in the comments, everyone's like, trade him, trade him. I mean, you know what? You can't trade him yet. And after this game, 14 points, 6 boards, 3 assists. on 6 of 14 shootings, not all that great, but he didn't start great. He missed like his first 3 shots, and then he knocked down some in a row. 2 of 4 from 3, and the big thing. Norman Powell was plus 23 when he was on the floor. Unbelievable. Great job there. Jakob Pertl, look, the guy's a beast. 12 points, 12 rebounds, 3 blocks. Who needs Serge Ibaka when you got Jakob Pertl? Blocking machine. 5 of 9 shooting. 2 of 3 from the line. And he attempted a 3. And I'm going to run through the plus minus of our bench in a little bit because it's an, it's it's ridiculous. Pascal Siakam. After that mista mistake at the end of that Miami game, he comes out today and not only puts up 16.7 boards, uh, 4 assists on 6, 7 of 10 shooting. I mean... 
Not only did he do that, but his defense on LeBron, him and OG, contained LeBron James. LeBron had 26. Look, he's going to score a lot. But 26, he's averaging, I think it's 28 or something. What's he averaging this year? 27.2. He only had 26 in this game. He shot 9 of 16. He only took one three. And he was a minus 22 on the floor. The Raptors did a great job against him. You're not going to shut him down, but you contained him enough. You didn't let him explode for 40, 35. You didn't let that happen. And obviously, the big man. Even though he's not very big whatsoever. Fred Van Vliet. A career high. 22 points for Fred Van Vliet. Four dimes. Four boards. Get this one. 8 of 11 shooting. And. And. 6 of 8 from 3. The guys stepped it up. And I'm going to run through the plus minus of our bench right here. Because this is. This is fantastic. I mean, you heard before the game, oh, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers bench, so good with Green, Dwayne Wade, uh, you know, you can, whoever else you want to throw in there. The Raptors bench annihilated the Cavs bench. Norman Powell, plus 23. Jakob Pertl, plus 29. Uh, Pascal Siakam, plus 24. Fred Van Vliet, plus 28. And Lorenzo Brown, who had six points and five assists. I thought he was fantastic. His defense was great, too. He was a plus 19 on the floor. You know, in your starters, OG was plus 13, CJ Miles plus 8, JV plus 7, DeLon Wright plus 5, and DeRozan plus 15. The Raptors, without Kyle and, De or, uh, without Kyle and Serge, you needed A, rebounding. You got that. The Raptors set a... Um, I don't know if it was a franchise record in rebounds in a uh, in a regulation game. 63 rebounds to Cleveland's 35. We almost, well, not that we almost, but we almost doubled them. The offensive glass was torn apart by the Raptors, 18-9. The Raptors wanted that more, and clearly they didn't show up. Uh, where else? 31 assists? 31! The balls humming like crazy. What else? Three steals, seven blocks, only nine turnovers. The fouls, well, they were a joke, but who cares? I mean, just incredible. And the great thing about this is, this Raptor team, they were to the free throw line 30 times. Oh, quite a few of them a joke, but doesn't matter. The Raptors only got there 13 times. Over They were over double us in free throw attempts, but the Raptors held them to only 38% shooting as a team, 23% from three, and that's skewed because they were one of like 14 at one point. Incredible. This team showed heart, and I think they're showing every single person watching on ESPN or wherever the heck the game's being shown that this Raptor team has that extra gear, that defense, the hardcore defense from every single player tonight. JV was big. The second unit, do I even need to say anything else about them? The plus minus, the points for, they were unbelievable. The defense by Siakam and, and, and OG on LeBron. The great job of containing Kevin Love, who only had 10 points. Isaiah Thomas, you know, only had 4 points in 25 minutes. 2 of 15 shooting. Love was only 2 of 8. Both guys, Isaiah Thomas and Kevin Love. And you can even throw LeBron James into that mix. 1-3. And sure, J.R. Smith missed both threes he took as well. Their starting unit made one three, and that was Jay Crowder. The Raptors' defense is the story in this one. But again, you can't forget how dominant the offense... The Raptors put up 133. That's how bad the Cleveland Cavaliers' defense is. If the Raptors can make their shots, the wide-open shots, they can run through the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their defense ain't good enough. Unbelievable game by the Raptors. And the great thing about this, you play Golden State on, on Saturday. The Raptors are feeling fantastic right now. You get a day off tomorrow. You're going to have Surge back. DeMar didn't play in the whole fourth quarter. And who knows about Kyle? I don't even know if he'll play. If he doesn't, okay, fine. You, you want him for the playoffs. That's mainly what you want him for. You don't need to kill him in a regular season game against a Western Conference team. Whatever. If he does play and he's healthy and 100%, great. If not, don't play him. Why? What's the point? 
This team shows they can play without him and Serge. I mean, not saying they can do this every single game because holy smokes. And I think this was I think this was the most made threes the Raptors have had all season long. Well, how many threes did they have? 18 threes, 43% shooting. Unbelievable. And 50% from the field, 106 field goal attempts. Unbelievable. This team, fantastic all-around game, and you shut down the Cleveland Cavaliers. You could see LeBron's getting frustrated out there. Right as the final whistle goes, he's booking it to the dressing room. It's gorgeous. Everybody counting this team out, saying Lowry, Serge Ibaka, out of the lineup. All oh, the Raptors are going to get slaughtered tonight. But you know what they're going to say. You know what everyone's going to say. Well, you know, Raptors can't really try to do it in the playoffs. You know that's the only comeback people are going to come back with. You know that. So, boys, girls, who's ever watching, whenever you hear a Cavs fan frustrated about this game and say, oh, try and beat us in the playoffs, tell them, try and uh, try and talk to me about this 133-99 victory without Lowry and Serge Ibaka. That might quiet them up. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this video. And boy, if you enjoyed this game, smack that like button for me. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Because holy smokes, if there's more games like this, I'm going to start sweating. It's winter time and I'm sweating right now. It's fantastic. I love it. Let me know what you guys thought about this game. Who's your MVP? Would you give it to Fred Van Vliet? Would you give it to Siakam for his defense on LeBron? Would you give it to Pirtle? Jay? I don't even know. I've got... I let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll talk to you guys, uh, well, I guess it's Tuesday, next Tuesday, Leafs edition, as they're at home taking on the St. Louis Blues, but right now, Raptors edition, Saturday night, 7.30 tip-off, Golden State Warriors at the Air Canada Center taking on the Raptors. We play like this, who knows what'll happen, all right? So we'll talk to you guys then, hoping for a second straight win against... The defending NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors. We'll talk to you guys then.